welcome back to yet another video today we are going to discuss about java 8 to 23 features uh, the versions so basically the versions which are uh, introduced in java 8 and then later on to java 23 so uh, this will be a, a quite interesting video and uh, we'll discuss all by names like what are the features has been introduced and uh, this this would be quite helpful for the interviewers who are actually looking or who are getting prepared for java interviews now basically what happens is that whenever you go for an any java or spring boot or microservices interview the interviewer starts with the basics of java and definitely he will call out certain versions certain features and he would like to know that whether you are updated with the latest versions of java and you are aware of the current versions of java so uh, this will all portray that how prepared how updated you are and uh, how uh, you are adapted to the learning right and how frequently you learn things right so this will give an edge to the interviewer uh, if they start learning this right so uh, let's let's look at it now uh, as we already discussed we will be looking at the features which are introduced in java 8 till 23 so we have prepared a, a slides which are uh, there for each individual version so there are you know different slides which i have prepared which will include the features okay so 8 9 and then there is 10 to 12 and 13 to 17 18 to 21 and 22 to 23 right so let's look at the each one of them. Now, this is one of the most important uh, and the game changer features, I would say, and one of the release, right? So it's quite important and I cannot emphasize the significance and the importance of the interview. Whether you are learning Java, whether you are uh, going for an interview, this is very, very important. You can mark it as triple star and you definitely will be asked some questions or definitely two three questions would be definitely there and uh, i will i will tell you one point is that uh, many interviewers right would reject the inter interviewers based on this java 8 features if they are not aware of this then they will definitely not prefer to select those so make sure that you learn this you are well prepared on this thing, okay so uh, as i mentioned it is quite big uh, feature and there were a lot of new features has been added addition right so let's look at that one by one one is lambda expression so uh, earlier prior to this java 8 lambda expression there was no functional programming uh, in directly being uh, called up right so java there was no functional uh, way of writing the code. Now with this introduction of this Lambda expression, you are allowed to write a quite concise code, uh, which is quite readable and also which will reduce the boilerplate code. Okay. So uh, if you look at the uh, exact snippet of code, you will see that there are, uh, it, it is pretty concise and you will be able to write the code of it, implicit code, right? stream api now this has been one of the another important feature which has been introduced uh, so this is way of uh, streaming the data uh, streamlining the data i would say so uh, basically the processing of the collections and uh, you apply certain uh, layers of uh, logics basically like filtering apply uh, mapping reducing it uh, to a stream and then ultimately working on top of the collection so basically what happens is that you you take the input at some of the source like either collection or any array or then then and then you perform some operation and then ultimately you convert that to a certain thing so there is always uh, 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 a copy which is created and then certain operation is performed like intermediate and terminal operation right uh, default and static method. Now this is one of the important features with respect to interfaces. Earlier prior to Java 8, there was no default and static method which could have been written in the interface. 
now this give a significant edge to uh, yeah. which will give you an uh, you know backward compatibility compatibility to the interfaces so it doesn't allow you to impose or uh, uh, restrict uh, imposes a, a compulsion to implement those methods right so the default logics will be written in that and then uh, it will not break the implementation right optional optional is one of the important features uh, this is one of the way where you can handle the null pointer exception you will get an uh, uh, as a uh, stream that or uh, optional where you will be able to get that either empty or you can also work on like if it is empty then you can also throw an exception or do or else something you can do something right if you found uh, blank or null right so th there is a better way to handle it okay now date and time api so there was introduction of time or date time zone time stand uh, time zone the api which was provided so that we will which will make the life of the developer easy okay uh, hope you got the features uh, let's discuss about the next set of uh, features java 9 uh, this is also one of the important features so uh, like if you have heard of modular programming right this is one of the uh, important feature of java 9 and it was broken down uh, you'll be breaking your monolith application and the dependencies in a better way right so you'll have modules right so it will be better organized and it will be a quite encapsulated code right and apart from that there was an uh, uh, jshell uh, that is an interactive repl for trying out some code snippet instantially right now if you see the code snippet of module right there is a module module name and then the requires like which is the base and then export these all things will be added when you're dealing with the modular programming let's jump to the next slide uh, now we'll discuss about the features which are added as part of 10 to 12 okay so this might this is not as big as java 8 and uh, other um, uh, features or releases uh, but this is something which is you know this has been frequently released and this 10 to 12 are most frequently released right so uh, i'll share you some highlights of it so there was a local variable that is a type introduction a variable introduced for the declaration which will be which was used for, uh, for the uh, cleaner declaration right so that was introduced uh, java 11 uh, there was an http client api which was a simplified http calls uh, this was introduced you can run your java program without java compiling that is java c right so you can directly run that particular file uh, which is part of java 11 now uh, java 12 right there was a uh, switch case uh, expression there was a clear and concise way to write the switch uh, logic right uh, hope you got this particular features now uh, java version from 13 to 17 uh, there was quite important features like let's say if we go to java 13 and to 14 right there were two uh, major uh, features which was text blocks which is used for an uh, let's say you want to have a multi-line string right instead of having the multi uh, new line character right so this was one of the text blocks feature which was introduced which will uh, look like and you know writing your code in a different format right uh, and then there was a record so this is one of the uh, important feature which was which will reduce your boilerplate code and unnecessary methods like uh, unnecessary as in like the boilerplate code which i mean to say so this was some of the similar feature of lombok if you have heard of which will provide you the two string getter setters constructor or and default constructor all constructors so similar way this was introduced so that you know you doesn't need to write that particular logic just simply name the record and then what are the attributes required in it right it will be automatically taken care of initialization and other things now java 15 to 16 this was there was a seal class uh, which will restrict your hierarchy now uh, there is no restriction of who can implement it or who can 
make use of it and then write your own logic right so uh, java has come up with a feature where uh, it will restrict certain classes which will not be allowed to uh, implement or extend right so this way it will create a comp uh, a fixed and you know i would say a tight uh, implementation which will not be allowed for external for implementation right uh, java 17 now there were some certain uh, switch cases changes which was which will you know which will matches the type in the switch case right so this was one one of the important features and the changes with respect to switch cases now performance improvement uh, there were quite uh, uh, like garbage collection there was you know quite optimized version of it and then also there were some performance tweaks which were uh, done right so which will enhance the uh, java uh, performance okay uh, okay now let's discuss the next slide uh, java 18 to 21 now uh, there was a concept of lightweight threads uh, introduced in Java 18 and 19, which was virtual threads. So these are uh, quite high scalable and lightweight threads which are used. Okay. Uh, now Java 20 to 21, if you see, there was a structured concurrency, simplified handling of the concurrent task. Right. So there is a different way of handling, a simple way of handling the concurrent task. Okay. Now, uh, the prior version which was introduced with the record, right, there was some more flexibility for the data classes being added in it, right, some enhancement was added, okay. Uh, now, let's look at the next. Uh, now, these are like some of the features which are part of uh, Java 22 and 23. Uh, we'll discuss uh, them. There is scoped value, like, you know, aim for safer uh, local data sharing, basically, okay there is some stream gatherer right so there are some flexible way of stream processing okay structured concurrency now the there was already done in the previous version but this is somewhere multi, uh, simplified okay now uh, the statement before earlier like this was one of the top list statements right which would allow for uh, execution of certain uh, prior the super class right super one so now there are some statement which can you write uh, before the super okay uh, string templates there are some enhanced string creation with embedded and expression which has been part uh, there are unnamed variable patterns simplifying the code by you no know, omitting unused variables etc some patterns names uh, there are some declared classes and the instance main method uh, which will reduce the boilerplate code right so which are implicit i would say okay so these are java 22 features now java 23 okay so this, there is some collections like sequence collection has been introduced this is one of the uh, interfaces that you know uh, you en uh, encounter a certain order right uh, then uh, uh, foreign functional or memory api now this is one of the uh, enhanced uh, uh, for you know, performance improvement and the safety, right? Uh, then there are pattern uh, pattern matching for a primitive types like long, int, some. There are actually some certain patterns which will allow all the primitive type built in, like you know, pattern matching work, right? So there are earlier no provision to do that. Uh, prior, I mean, the 22 also there were some unnamed variable and pattern, but there it has been finalized and like you know. This has been part of the standard feature and now implicit declare which is again part of uh, the java 2 uh, now they have finalized it right so uh, these are the features uh, in a later videos we will actually discuss in depth about all these particular uh, uh, features so this was uh, an uh, you know, quite short video where i have tried to uh, showcase all the features which are important and uh, basically this will give you an edge uh, uh, when you're going for an interview because uh, not only uh, naming the features quite knowing them what exactly these features are when in which releases it has been released uh, so it will give you an edge right and uh, there's a possibility that if you are you know, updated yourself with the latest version the interviewer might be uh, quite impressed with you, okay?
hope this video was helpful and uh, in in this video itself you will are able to learn or understand what exactly uh, from java 8 till 23 the features has been added because uh, myself i've tried uh, to see many videos where i couldn't find this uh, videos already available so um, i thought of making it and making it available for the users okay uh, thank you thank you for watching and if you if this video happened to be helpful in any way to you right uh, please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon and also share this with your uh, close associates and uh, the people who would help thank you